I'm Dr. Catalina, and I'm going to talk to you about how to protect yourself and your family from ticks and Lyme disease. Lyme disease is an infectious disease caused by a bacteria called Borrelia burgdorferi. The bacteria is carried in the stomach of deer ticks called Ixodus scapularis, and people get infected when a deer tick carrying the bacteria bites them and stays attached long enough to empty its stomach contents. Ticks are most likely to transmit Lyme disease in the spring and summer, when the tick is in a phase of its life cycle called the nymph phase. Deer tick nymphs are tiny, about the size of a poppy seed or a small freckle, and only about one out of four people who get Lyme disease actually saw the tick. Ticks need to be attached to you for at least 36 to 48 hours for there to be a significant risk of infection. The best way to prevent Lyme disease is to prevent tick bites. When you're going to be in a wooded or grassy area, you should protect yourself and your kids by spraying your shoes and your lower legs with an insecticide containing 15 to 25 percent DEET or DEET. If you're going camping in an area where Lyme disease is endemic, you can treat your clothing, your tent, and your gear with 0.5 percent permethrin. Ticks can ride into your home on your clothing and on pets and then attach themselves to a person later on. So you should carefully examine your pets, your coats, and your packs before you go into the home. You should shower soon after being outdoors. Showering within two hours of coming indoors has been shown to reduce your risk of Lyme disease by washing off any unattached ticks. You should also do a daily full body tick check, carefully looking at the following, in and around the hair, in and around the ears, under the arms, inside the belly button, around the waist, between the legs, and behind the knees. If you find a tick, the traditional recommended way of removing the tick is by using fine tweezers, grasp the tick as close as possible to the skin surface. You should pull up gently with steady pressure. If there is a small part of the tick left in the skin, don't panic and there's no need to try to dig it out. The part of the tick that contained the Borrelia bacteria was the stomach and it is gone. Alternatively, you can remove the tick using a cotton tipped applicator or a Q-tip. You should gently rub the cotton tip applicator, making circles around the tick over and over, rotating the tick until it releases from the skin. Never use nail polish, heat, such as a lit cigarette, or Vaseline to try to remove the tick. It's possible that when the tick feels threatened, it could transmit its stomach contents to you and infect you with Borrelia. You can save the tick and send it to a lab for testing to see if it carried the Lyme disease bacteria. However, this can be expensive, and doctors do not generally recommend testing the tick, since if the tick tests positive, it does not mean that it infected you with Lyme disease. And if the tick tests negative, you might still have contracted Lyme disease from a second tick that bit you and you never saw. If you had a tick on you for at least 36 hours, and it's within 72 hours of when you remove the tick, your doctor may prescribe a one-time dose of an antibiotic called doxycycline. One dose of doxycycline has been shown to reduce the risk of contracting Lyme disease after a tick bite. If you develop a rash, fever, joint pain, or headache within a few weeks after being bitten by a tick, you should contact your doctor. Be sure to tell your doctor about your recent tick bite.